1973, women from all over the country came to the Women's Building, which was a cultural center in Los Angeles, to participate in the first year of the Feminist Studio Workshop. There was so much ground to cover between artists working on just artwork and mothers trying to be artists. We were sort of appalled that they had a discussion about whether to let dogs into the studios and not to let children. Somebody suggested that the mother should organize. We did and we formed the Mother Art Collective. So we decided that the first thing we would do is build a playground for children. We were making something, a place for children, and we did it. Helen wrote a grant for $700 we did a series of five performances in laundromats. Our idea was to make the private public. And it was really fun and people really responded and liked it. You know, it was kind of like a celebration. Well, it was very ironic that we were being criticized for this paltry $700 when in fact there was so much waste in government spending and in the private sector. Mother Art in the 80s morphed into an even more politically active organization in that we thought not just about our own lives but about women's issues in general. As mothers we were very concerned about the arms race and the nuclear threat. We reinterpreted Picasso's Guernica in terms of Los Angeles. And then we took that piece to the federal building. There were complaints that this was a very offensive exhibit. The head of the General Services Administration asked us to leave. As a group, I thought we were pretty effective. We tried on different roles by working together. I think we were pioneers in the experience of women with children making art. In the 70s when we were doing this, women found their voices. We found who we were through collaboration. 